Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. So in this video, it is another episode of Evernote News. This is where you can get regular updates, um, a roundup of what's happening in the Evernote community, and a way for you to keep um, always on the ball with what's happening, which is great because Evernote is in very much, as I said before, a golden period of time. They've got a new CEO as of um, six months ago, and they're kind of in a process of retwigging a lot of stuff. They're focusing heavily, I mean really heavily, on the onboarding process, which means basically when new users come onto the service, and also the uh, deep work, as what the CEO does mention, in the sense that deep work is where when you go in, how are they using the tools inside of Evernote to really get their job done? So anyway, let's get stuck in. The first announcement that I want to talk about is Evernote for Android. And they have added some new features to this. Um, they've specifically focused on scan and annotate. So in the new Evernote for Android, they've added a smarter way to digitalize documents. Essentially what they've done is they've improved the service inside of Evernote camera on Android so that it either automatically detects the documentation that you're taking a photo, whether it's a photo, a post-it note, a document, or you know anything that is relevant to the Evernote embedder of the camera, or they allow you to do it in manual mode, which I personally prefer because I like to um, kind of test the system, but they've dramatically improved it. Um, I mean, they had a lot of issues in the past where you'd take a photo of a document, and I've, I've done this in the past, take a photo of a document, and it would be slightly blurry or slightly difficult to visualize. Uh, a lot of the time that wasn't the case. Uh, some of it, um, a lot of it actually did come through as really strong and really crisp, uh, it looks like a printout, but they've really dramatically improved it, which is great. Um, and that automatic and manual process is fantastic. They've also added um, a really, a dramatically improved smarter business card scanning. So when you're you know, scanning um, in a networking event, all of the business cards that you have, it actually goes into more detail when adding actually information from that card and adding their LinkedIn account, which is pretty impressive, right? So that's a premium feature, but one that is quite impressive. Um, there's also an announcement that inside of the photos when, when you're inside of Evernote, They've actually uh, integrated, pretty much integrated Skitch into the ability um, of, of annotating those photos, which is really powerful because obviously um, you can do that on the go, you can do that on the fly, you can quickly annotate someone and send it over to someone. They've actually allowed in Evernote Premium the ability to annotate PDFs, uh, which is impressive too. So really great updates here. I mean, they've taken what Skitch had and they brought it into here. Uh, which is impressive. And I mean, this is all about uncomplicating the service, making it less complicated for users when they join in and also easier for existing users to kind of continue their experience. They've also improved their note editor too. So you have the ability to not get this horrible. I mean, I've had this experience where you've uploaded a spreadsheet on web or on um or on any other uh, like Mac or Windows, and it's formatted on an iPhone or a Android phone as something that looks very complicated and very horrible. So they've really improved the, the width and the um, feel and consistency of the uh, editor, which is nice. So that's a great improvement. Down here, they've also added a ability to improve their organizational system. So multi-tagging, uh, multi uh, note uh, to documents, which is great. And also, obviously, lots of uh, abilities to adding trash as well so that you can empty everything fast. So they're really understanding how the users are using this and improving on it, uh, which is great. So a lot of nice changes in that Evernote update. Um, that was released Thursday, 5th of Mar May. Uh, so very impressive by Evernote. So moving on, something that happened probably about uh, one, yeah, two weeks ago now, 
uh, unveiling of the Evernote uh, for Windows. Uh, this is something that a lot of people have been waiting for for quite a while, and they've updated some fantastic things. I do recommend, obviously, though, I'll go through it now, uh, watching the video here because, and I will link that in the description, because it does go into detail on what are the uh, real details of the features. So one of the things they've added is they've added a more intuitive sidebar navigation. So on that left-hand side, you can actually get a cleaner experience, but also the ability to see your personal and business notes. Um, so if you're adding more and more uh, business notes uh, to Evernote as your company joins on, as you can imagine Evernote pushing this at the moment, you'll be able to kind of separate those two experiences um, and kind of organize yourself uh, in a much more kind of cohesive way. They've also redesigned some of the experience to mimic, I would say mimic, the Mac experience. So they've really made it uh, a lot easier to view. Um, it's a lot nicer. I, I've seen it on uh, Evernote Windows so far, and it's a really impressive, a lot cleaner. They've also made the uh, formatting a lot easier as well. So things are easier to visualize, um, which is impressive. The other thing that they've announced is the smarter search and discovery. So when you're searching for something, a lot of the time, you know, Evernote does its best to find the thing that you want. But when you're being specific and you've got a lot of notes, there's an ability to go deeper in those notes. And um, that's really powerful, especially for those Windows users. And I'm really impressed by this feature and I really want to continue to talk about this in the community, uh, especially on Twitter, because Evernote has added the ability for you to add colors to your tag, which really does hint at something that's going to be fantastic, which is a, this is almost, I think, a user test for Evernote to be redesigned, uh, to be more colorful, to be more fun, to be a new kind of experience where everything's more colorful, and more playful versus uh, work focused. So uh, Evernote for tags inside of Windows now has the ability to add default colors, which is impressive. So you can go over to tag style and simply change the color there. Really, really impressive. I was actually, I couldn't stop talking about this the other day. Um, it was that impressive. Uh, they'll probably add this to notebooks soon somehow, uh, whether it's, you know, having little uh, stars or something like that. No, no, they have stars already, obviously. But certain icons uh, around each notebook. Uh, that's how they'll kind of embed stuff. But anyway, guys, I'm really impressed by this unveiling of the new Evernote for Windows. Watch the video, it's impressive, it looks much cleaner. They look like they're just ironing out a lot of the issues. The next thing I do want to talk about is obviously those two experiences have really improved. Um, as I keep going back to, I've been talking about an Evernote redesign since August 2015, and I think I really do think that it's still on the cards, but they just are ironing out the experience of a lot of people. Uh, I will also post this Evernote uh, interview with the CEO in uh, the description because he does mention a couple of things, some interesting things. Um, obviously, the company already had 100 million registered users and a billion dollar valuation, and Phil Levin left, but um, he's actually... He's actually stated he loves to be underestimated, which is impressive. Uh, it's a good statement to have because obviously it does give faith in a lot of Evernote users. But one of the things that they've announced inside of this post is that they're still getting 100,000 signups a day, 100,000 signups to the product a day, which is pretty impressive, right? Um, that's a strong amount of people joining per day. Um, so it's it's all about how they improve that onboarding experience and how they improve the deeper experience for the Evernote users. As you can see by Android and Windows updates, they are doing that. And I wouldn't imagine, I wouldn't, um, it wouldn't put me, eh, I wouldn't put it past them to update the web and iPhone very soon. I can see the iPhone being done in the next few weeks and it's going to be beautiful. Anyway, guys, that's my predictions for Evernote this week and also an update on Evernote News. I really appreciate all of the subscribes. So if you have two or three minutes, please do press two or three minutes, <laughs> two or three seconds, maybe. Uh, just hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I put a lot of videos out, especially about Evernote, Todoist, Slack, all those kind of tools that are great to use in your day. 
Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.